morning, Pee-wee. Morning, Francis. Hmm. This one, uh, this one's a tough one. I didn't think I was actually going to do this, but <laughs> there he goes. But this one uh, is a little different. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the world of Micah. We lost Paul Rubens. We lost Pee Wee Herman. Normally, I'm not, um, you know, celebrities, it's a thing. It's more of a fun thing, especially if you get to meet celebrities. Um, you know, you look up to these people. Um, they create these characters, these universes, these places that you and I may never get to see, you know? And I think that's why I like filming locations so much. And growing up, Pee Wee Herman, to me, was like my first, like, friend, you know, as a kid. He was the host of Pee Wee's Playhouse first. Um, I met him through Pee-wee's Big Adventure, then went back and started watching um, Pee-wee's Playhouse, but Pee-wee's Big Adventure to me was so awesome. I was like, this guy is nuts. How old is he? He acts like he's my age, but he looks older. I don't know. This is awesome. Why is this soundtrack so good? And why is everything a little weird? And then Tim Burton. Oh, I love Beetlejuice. Love Edward Scissorhands. Then I saw Pee-wee, and Pee-wee to me was awesome. Maybe want to ride a bike. Um, he really kind of introduced me to the world of comedy and wanting to be funny. And uh, I would always try and mimic, you know, Pee-wee Herman when I was a kid. I'd walk around the house being like, <laughs> "I know you are, but what am I? Hi, it's your old pal, Pee-wee Herman." I mean, it was like that was me all the time. And uh, I got to meet Paul Rubens, um, 2018, I believe it was at Megacon. I'm going to talk about it today. I'm going to talk about my experience. I'm going to talk about uh, what he and I chatted about um, for about 15-20 minutes and I'll get into that here and um, yeah it's going to be a, a good time. A nice little personal tribute to my friend and yours, Paul Rubens. Let's take a closer look. Give you guys a little sneak peek at this uh, room in my my house got Pee Wee's Big Adventure on right now I pay the poor food don't eat my cereal <laughs> so good one bite he's done look at spec all that food are you watching George George are you watching Pee Wee and spec this is my dog George by the way Pee Wee so uh, this is my wall of inspiration things that just kind of inspire me and uh, people who have inspired me and um, places that have inspired me and Pee Wee is no exception to this wall Elvis is on this wall he has his own wall but that's an original 80s Pee Wee mask that Abby got me for my birthday one year and 2018 I got to meet Pee-wee, Mr. Paul Rubens. Apologize for the glare, but and you guys can hear George snorting. He's chewing a bone right now. But I got Pee-wee's autograph as well. Your pal, Pee-wee Herman. That uh, that all took place the same day. The the photo and the uh, the autograph here. So. A couple of years ago, uh, around 2015, I went to South Pasadena uh, with Abby and Adam the Woo. And uh, while I was there, Ab Adam was like, we're going to see the Pee Wee house. This was the first time I was going to get to see this in person. I remember going. We uh, filmed a couple of scenes um, there for our channels and uh, took a bunch of pictures. And it was, it was really cool. My mind was basically... Um, on Halloween. I was thinking about nothing but Halloween filming locations while I was there, which was awesome. But seeing the Pee Wee house kind of like stopped me in my tracks and I was like, I'm at Pee Wee's house. I saw the basketball goal and the rim on the garage, the, the, the fence, everything. It was so cool. And the neighbor next to Pee Wee in the movies, Mr. Crabtree, the lady who lives in Mr. Crabtree's house came out and talked to us and it was so awesome. She was so kind. She was like, Take as many photos as you want, do whatever you want. I was stoked. 2018, Megacon, Orlando, Florida, at the Orange County Convention Center. There's so many great guests that year, but all I wanted to meet 
was Paul Rubens, Pee Wee Herman. That was it. There were so many, like, I mean, I can't remember who was all there. I know they had a lot of Walking Dead folks. Like, Megacon's crazy. You can meet some of the oldest cast members um, and some of the newest, youngest, you know, cast members and stuff in movies, actors, actresses, musicians, comic book uh, artists, voice actors. There's so many things at Megacon. But my goal that day was to meet Pee Wee Herman, tell him a special message from my childhood, and get a, uh, a signed photo. That was it. That was my goal. And I did it. I paid for the ticket. Um, I believe it was 80 bucks. I can't remember how much the photo was. I got, I got away with everything for less than 100 bucks. And I think the reason why is because I go in to meet Pee Wee. I'm so excited. They get you lined up. They cattle call you, kind of, in a way, at Megacon. You're, like, standing in these little lines that are roped back and forth, and there's a bunch of black curtains. You can't see behind the curtain. You don't know where the celebrity is exactly. You don't know which room. There might be a room you walk in, you drop off your stuff, they check your ticket, and then you go in and meet the celebrity. Sometimes it's all in the same room. So you never really know when you do the professional photos. Now, when you're doing the photos at the tables, you just walk up, and you're just like, hey, here's 40 bucks. Selfie, or they take one for you. High five, hug, sayonara. This is um, very quick. It's like a toy machine operation. Like you walk in, drop your stuff, take a step in the square, look at the camera, say cheese, thank you, bye. Not with Pee Wee. Um, I noticed the people in front of me walked up and talked to him for um, about a minute or so. Gave hugs, which I was like, yes, I'm gonna get a Pee Wee hug. They took the photo, he thanked them, they thanked him. And uh, then his handler came over and was like, hey, Mr. Rubens is ready to meet you. That kind of threw me for a loop. That's cool. Do you have any belongings you need for me to hold? I, I didn't take anything with me. I left all my stuff with Abby. So I walk up to Pee Wee, um, said hello, and I gave him a message that I will never share. And he thanked me. And then I said, can I give you a hug? And he was like, of course. Took a hug and he was just like, what's your name? And I was like, oh, my name is Micah. And he was just like, hi, Micah. It's nice to finally meet you. And I was like, oh my gosh, like that's so cool. Because that's what you usually say to the celebrities. It's nice to finally meet you, or I can't believe I'm meeting you, or it's so nice to meet you. You never hear them really say that. And it was different with him. And he was like, let's take a photo. And he did a peewee face like a, and I, I couldn't help but smile. And um, I was like, I'm coming by the table to get something signed. And he was like, I look forward to it. And he was just like, enjoy the rest of the show. Bye, Micah. And I was like, bye, Pee-wee. <laughs> and I'm sure he didn't mind me calling him Pee-wee other than Paul Rubens. I had to keep it together because I was kind of tearing up, you know. Walked out, told Abby. I was like, it was so great. It was amazing, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, well, they capped off his line. So we'll wait and be the first for the next one. I look over and I see a gentleman who was in the room when I took the photo with Pee Wee, kind of like one of his handlers. He signals to the girl and like points at us and like does something with his hands like uh, this. And then she walks up and she's like, hey, come over here real quick. Um, can you keep Paul kind of busy for like three, 10 minutes? And I was like, three to 10, yeah, yeah. He has to take a lunch, but he doesn't want to open his line. He just needs to finish his lunch. And he likes to stay out here and, and, and eat. And I was like, yeah, I'll keep him busy while he's eating his lunch. No problem. Before I get to Paul, his handler, who actually signaled for us, walked up and he was just like, hey, again, um, yeah, he's got a cheese plate and he's just gonna do his thing. Um, what photos do you want to get signed? And I I wanted the this one right here, Pee Wee with the bike. And he was like, classic, awesome. We exchanged the money and he said, just, um, we'll get him to sign it right before you guys leave. Just walk up, kind of just say hey to him, talk to him. I'm sure, he'll, you know, he just wants to just get to know you kind of thing. And it was so like, wow, we were like, this is, this is kind of cool. This is exciting. So Abby and I walk up and he looked up at me and he goes, oh, hello, it's good to see you again. When he said that, I was like, wow, wow. I'm sure he doesn't remember me, but the fact that he's playing it off is impressive. He's a good actor. And uh, I think he really did though. Because when he said that, he was just like, and is this your wife? And I was like, yeah, this is my wife, Abby. He was just like, oh, it's so lovely to meet you, Abby. And so he asked about what we do for a living and who we are, and we talked for a while about that. And then I said, I'm actually filming a YouTube video today. And he was just like, oh, I love YouTube. 
Um, he was like, I, I like to watch all the, the new comics and stuff on there. And I thought that was kind of cool. That's kind of like the new age, you know, of seeing new um, comics and stuff. And um, we talked about YouTube for a minute, and then I kind of said, I, I went to your house with my buddy who did a big filming location of Pee Wee's Big Adventure. And I just told him, like, it was so cool to see the house. And he said, I love the house, and they're taking care of it. And he was telling me it was going to be on, like, um, it registered as a historic house soon. And they were going to always take care of it. And I think he has something to do with that or had something to do with that. He's sitting there literally eating a cheese platter. He had crackers, cheese, and he was putting some jelly on them. And he was just like, excuse me while I eat my lunch. I just want to be out here. And I'd really like to talk to you. Um, but I don't have time to open up my line, you know, again. We start um, diving into you know, filming locations in South Pasadena more. And we talked about the, you know, Pee Wee stuff, but he, he actually mentioned, he was like, it's so funny. He's like, down the street, they filmed so many movies. Like, the Halloween movies were filmed over there. And we were just talking about how amazing South Pasadena is. I told him how much I really loved Pee Wee's Big Holiday. I love anything Pee Wee Herman. I loved Pee Wee's Big Holiday. I really did. I thought it was a great story. He was really excited. He was like, I'm so glad you watched my movie. And it was just cool how he said that, like, my movie. And as he's sitting there, he looks up at me and he says, I have a challenge for you, and I want you to do this. Looked at Abby and he was just like, make sure he does this. Next time you're in South Pasadena, find my house from Pee Wee's Big Holiday. Don't think you're going to be able to find it. And he was like, but since we talked about Halloween and stuff, I think you might. Well, it kind of clicked in my head. I'm like, okay, he said Halloween. I know they filmed some scenes in South Pasadena. So he mentions finding his house, and I'm thinking, Halloween, hmm. Well, behind the Myers house uh, area, there are some houses there, Pretty in Pink's house is there. So let me get on Google Earth and start the Myers house. I'll go to PJ Soul's house. I'll actually go back to the original Pee Wee house, see if it's a neighbor around there, because PJ Soul's house is right next to Pee Wee's house for Pee Wee's Big Adventure. And so I started looking at all the houses. I'm literally just like at one point just going down every street. And then I clicked, dude, the Strode house. And I found the house. I was down there actually doing my Halloween 1978 filming locations. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film this real quick. Send it to Paul on uh, Twitter. Send him a little message and just let him know I did it. It was never read. Uh, at least I don't think it was read. I actually sent it to him on Instagram, I remember. It was never replied to, but I did it. And I sent it to Paul, and it was cool. I'm glad I did it. And I'm gonna share the footage with you guys right now. This was a video directly from me to PUE, uh, never before seen. Enjoy. Hey, Mr. Rubens, I met you at Megacon in Tampa, Florida, and you told me that it would be impossible for me to find the Pee Wee Herman house from Pee Wee's Big Holiday, and I found it. You guys definitely blew this up so you could ski out right up there. This is your house. I did it. I did exactly what you told me to do. So that happened. It was cool. You know, that's my that's my story of me and Pee Wee, of me meeting Paul Rubens. Not gonna lie to you guys, I was in the middle of doing a podcast with uh, my buddy Mike. We have a podcast now called Monster Camp Podcast. Check it out. Mike gets a text message. And you know, when we're doing the podcast, we will occasionally look at our phones if someone's texting or calling, you know. And he looks and he gets this weird look on his face. I was like, what, who died? He was like, dude, I don't know if I can say. I don't want to ruin the day. And I was like, dude, no, you have to. I'm gonna be worried now. And he showed me and he was like, Paul Rubens, Pee Wee Herman, man. And dude, my heart sank. It really felt like someone, you know, told me like a loved one had died. Mike and I did not speak a word for about a minute. A whole minute is a long time. <sighs> Took a deep breath and I was like, it's okay. We met him because Mike met him as well that same day. Uh, it was sad. The whole day was sad. He immediately started downpouring in Orlando <laughs> when Mike told me. I was like, dude, because we were going to see Ninja Turtles that day, the new Ninja Turtles movie, which is awesome. I'm going to be uh, revisiting the Pee Wee house and uh, the Pee Wee house from uh, Big Holiday, Big Adventure and Big Holiday, soon. Wink, wink. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird how someone from your uh, childhood, whether it be Bozo the Clown or Barney or Pee Wee or whoever, um, can have such an impact on you. And just when you see them, hear them, think of them, you think back to a better time, um, you know, in your life. Yeah, this was sad. He will be remembered and uh, treasured, treasured for forever. Um, especially in my life. Thanks for the memories, Pee Wee. Mr. Rubens, you were uh, a dear, dear good friend of mine growing up. 
and at least in my heart, <laughs> in my mind, you made my day when I met you at MegaCon. So um, I know you are, but what am I? Mm -hmm.